Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Chemist Keeps Going. I am Chemist and today I'm going to show you how to cook pork chops sous vide style. You're going to take them from this to this. So you want to learn how? Stick around. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Okay guys, so today we're cooking sous vide, that's correct. But the question is, what exactly is sous vide? Well, sous vide is actually under vacuum. No, not vacuum cleaner, but vacuum. And you cook it in a water bath. So, some of you may be thinking, I don't understand what he's saying. Well, here's some information to explain it a little bit more. Sous vide, what is it? Essentially, it's a food cooked in a vacuum sealed pouch using exact temperature controlled water for prolonged periods of time. Some of you may be thinking, that's just boil in the bag, right? Well, no, not really, and here's why. In 1799, Benjamin Thompson, a physicist, conducted an experiment with a mutton shoulder. He theorized that very specific heat temperatures used for extended periods of time could produce meat both juicy and tender without overcooking. He never built a machine for this, but his theory is considered the foundation of the sous vide cooking concept. Fast forward to 1974 and you have Chef George Prelis of Le Trois Gras who was trying to reduce the cook down waste of foie gras. He wrapped it in plastic after hearing of this method being used in food preservation and cooked it in a water bath resulting in 5% rather than 50% shrinkage. This discovery motivated him to expand on the sous vide cooking method. Around the same time, Bruno Gasol, the scientific mind behind sous vide, at a frozen food conference presented a study showing how cooking beef sous vide first extended the shelf life by up to 60 days. He was then approached by Cryovac to add a scientific method of cooking to Pralis's culinary training, and that's how sous vide as we know it today was born. At the start, chefs used sous vide as a preservation style of cooking to stop food, especially expensive meats, from being spoiled. Now it's a style of cooking with consistent results even for the home chef, opening a whole repertoire of restaurant quality dishes to their cooking vocabulary. So now we know what sous vide is, but how do we cook that way? Well, one of the tools you can use is something like this. Most people will call this a sous vide wand, but this is a precision cooker. It's by a company called Anova Culinary and it's great. It works on Wi-Fi and it also has an app. The app is community sharing and it's full color. Every recipe has a picture, which really helps, you know, depending on what you want to cook that day. Now, the other great thing about the app is any recipe that you do find, you just push the button that you want to cook it and it will transmit all the settings to your Anova Culinary. So you don't even need to worry about setting the temperature or the time. And then once it's done, you'll get a notification on your phone and the machine will beep itself. Now, some of the specs on this one are that it's 12.8 inches tall. So it's a good size that it's still able to be stored in a drawer or a cupboard, but it's big enough that it's gonna get the job done. You have a thousand watt power, so more than enough to do whatever the home chef is doing. And it has an eight liter per minute flow rate. So basically what that means is the container that you use can be a good size. So you can actually cook quite a lot. And this will get the water flowing nice and evenly, which means that your food is going to cook evenly. Now, this is actually made of plastic and stainless steel, but the build quality is great. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It's nice and sturdy. It has a secure clamp on the back. If you're securing it to a pot or a container, that's easy and it will keep it nice and sturdy, but it's also adjustable in height as well, depending on if you have a low or a high container. But the other thing is the accuracy. It's accurate to 0.1 degree, which is great but also it goes from zero to 92 degrees Celsius, which I believe is around 137 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't kill me if that's wrong. I love this. I think sous vide is the way forward. It's such an easy set it and forget it style of cooking. So let's do it. Now to begin with, I'm gonna use my Food Saver vacuum sealer to prepare my bag and create the first seal. You don't need a vacuum sealer, you can also use the water displacement method, but I have a vacuum sealer. Now, I'm gonna make sure that I've got my gloves on because I like to use them when I'm handling raw meat. 
Here's the pork. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper generously. It's always good to season generously with sous vide. I'm gonna add my aromatics and then seal the bag. And then everything is ready to be placed in the water bath. Now I wanna make sure that I heat up the water bath. So I'm setting my Anova Culinary Precision Cooker to the required temperature. Once that's ready, place the bags inside and clip them to the edge. A little longer than a few minutes later. Everything's ready. I'm going to remove the machine, set it aside, take the meat out of the bags and put them on tissue. You want to make sure your meat is as dry as possible. The more moisture you can remove, the better you will get on your sear and it will have a nice golden crust. Now you want to get your pan nice and hot to get that lovely sear. Just listen to that sizzle sound. It just sounds so amazing. And it also sounds delicious for some reason. And there you go, pork loin, sous vide style, finished off in the frying pan, just a quick flash fry to give it a little bit of color. I've added mashed potatoes and some mixed vegetables. I've even got garlic and shallot gravy, which I know is gonna go nice with this. And I'm completing it with one of these. So I just wanna say thanks for watching. The recipe will be down below and maybe leave a comment of any of the recipes that you like or that you try with your sous vide machine. Until the next time guys, cheers.